Hay feeding is of course a big part of the nutritional requirements for beef cows all across the southwest as we go into the late fall winter months. Knowing how much hay we have to have on hand to meet the needs of our cows this winter is very, very important, as well as knowing how much hay we need to take out at each feeding. Well, let's do some calculations and see if we can help answer these questions. We know that a 1,200 pound pregnant cow, one that's going to have a calf, say, next March, is able to consume about 2% of her body weight voluntarily of good dry grass hay, something that might be old 8% crude protein. Now, 2% of that 1,200 pound cow, of course, is 24 pounds, but this hay is not 100% dry matter. We know that even though it looks dry, it still has someplace between 7 and 10% moisture in it. Let's use an example of about 92% dry matter. That means instead of taking out 24 pounds of hay to meet our needs, we've got to take out 26 pounds on an as-fed basis. But the story still isn't over. Once we take that hay out to those cows, put it in the feeders, we're going to have some hay wastage. Estimates are that uh, we'll have anywhere from 6 to 20 percent, perhaps even more hay wastage, depending upon the kind of feeder that we use and, and how we feed them. That means that we've got to not take out just 26 pounds of hay per cow. We need to up that to uh, about 30 pounds to cover for that hay wastage. So, as we're looking at this from a standpoint of that dry pregnant cow, then we're going to have to take out 30 pounds per head per day and have that much stored as we go into the winter. Once that cow calves next March, even though she weighs a little bit less, she can consume more hay and will on a voluntary basis. Now, instead of 30 pounds of hay, per head per day that we need to, in order to meet her nutrient requirements, we're going to have to up that even more to about 36 pounds to cover the dry matter, to cover the, the hay wastage that uh, is going to occur. So knowing these figures, I think, could help us make sure that we've got enough hay as we go into the winter time and we know about how many bales we need to take out each time we go to feed these cows to have the proper amount of nutrition for these cows as they go through the winter, stay in good body condition at calving time, maintain that condition into the breeding season so that we have an excellent rebreeding percentage and a good calf crop the following year. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>